Hello, what is up guys? It's Evil Duos Arm here today, back with another Dauntless video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to farm up the Hunt Pass. Now that we're getting at the end of the season, and a lot of people probably have to finish off this Hunt Pass and get all these levels, as you can see, I'm only chilling at level 22. This guide is going to be primarily targeted towards an averagely geared player like myself, who's trying to finish this thing up and really wants to get all of those different rewards that are on the list before the season expires. As such, it's going to be focused primarily on easy stuff that low geared players can pick up in order to make this experience easier for themselves. If you're higher geared, you might want to look elsewhere. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. Now in this video, I am only going to be focusing on the hunt pass progression items, the heart seekers in this season, that you get for farming behemoths. We will not be looking at the heart seekers that we obtained from our quest log in the hunt pass challenges menu, nor will we be looking at the ones that are spread across the little village of Ramsgate. So this is what you can do in addition to those things that lets you continuously and repeatedly farm heart seekers or whatever the hunt pass progression item is for the season in the game. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pick up a weapon that does part damage. So there are four types of damage in this game. They are normal damage, part damage, stagger damage, and wound damage. Each weapon has a type of damage that it prefers to do or deals more readily, and the weapons that deal the part damage more readily are the sword, the chain blades, the axe, and the repeaters. So of those four weapon types, pick your favorite, and then what you're going to want to do is craft the ember main version of that weapon, the ember main boss's weapon for that type. The reason is because it gives a bonus to part damage after you hit a certain number of hits in a row and we want to inflict as much part damage as we possibly can. So right here you see the Ember Main Chain Blades, and you can see that they deal the 175 part damage bonus for the plus 5 version that I have right now. Now if you're going to be using the Repeaters, they do not have the same type of Ember Main item, but they do have the Searing Prism. So after you hit 10 hits, the Searing Prism will do a bonus 100 part damage and inflict some major blaze damage on the Behemoth, so another way to boost those damages to those parts. Now if you haven't killed the Ember Main and don't have access to its weapons, or if you don't have the Searing Prism unlocked yet and can't equip it to your repeaters, don't fret, all it does is make it a little bit faster to kill the monsters and a little bit faster to break the parts that you need to break to get the Heart Seekers or whatever the current Hunt Pass currency is. So after you've got your weapon situation sorted, navigate on over to the board where you can pick what bosses you're going to be hunting here, navigate to Pursuit, and hit Neutral Behemoths, you're going to be fighting any one of the versions of Rat Beaver that you want to fight. So you can either do the Lesser Nasher, the Nasher, or the Rage Tail Nasher. Obviously do it based on your gear and what you have. However, I like to just go with the Nasher because it's a pretty straightforward hunt, pretty easy, and pretty hard for your team to fail or die or have any real difficulties killing it. The reason we're doing this guy is because the attack pattern is so simple and the parts are so easily accessible. He exposes them the entire fight. Really quite easy to kill this guy. So what's the difference between the lesser, the regular, and the rage tail versions? The lesser version will drop 6, the normal version will drop 12, and the harder version will drop 18. So what do I mean by drop? So every time you break apart on a behemoth, it has a chance to drop heart seekers or whatever the current currency is for the hunt pass. So you can see right there, it shows up as a little orb on the ground. So right now we're going to break the left front arm here on the Nasher, just like that, and it drops another part right there, and that part was once again heart seekers. So every time you break a part on the Behemoth, it has a chance to drop the Heart Seekers or whatever the event currency is, which is why you want to pick something that does part damage. So part damage in this game is represented by the yellow text callouts that you see every time you attack the enemy. If you do not see yellow text callouts while you're shooting the body part, for example, when you see I'm shooting the tail, I get a yellow, but when I shoot the head, I got a white, grayish color. If you're not seeing yellow, it means you've already broken that part, and you should stop shooting it or stop attacking it and move on to the next part of the Behemoth. The Nasher itself has six parts that we can attack. Right there, we just broke another, which was the tail. So walk over the thing, pick up the Heart Seekers, which once again are the Hunt Pass item for this season. So after you've broken a part on the Behemoth, move on to the next one. The Nasher itself has six parts you can attack, or six parts you can break. Both legs, both arms, the head, and the tail. So once you've broken one of those parts, and you see the little Behemoth stagger, and you'll know once again if you shoot the area or attack the area, it comes up with gray text instead of yellow, you know to move on to the next part. And after the hunt, if you scroll to the bottom left corner of the loot table, you'll see how many of the hunt pass progression items you received for that hunt. So this now leads to the burning question on everyone's mind, how many of these tokens are you going to get, or how many heart seekers, or how many hunt pass progression items are you going to get per clear or overall per hour while doing this method? Now I'm not going to exaggerate or make stuff up as I go here, it's pretty straightforward. It seems to be that I get about 18 on average per hunt of the Nasher, so I'll get 12s, I'll get 24s, it seems to level off right around 18, with an average clear time that's sitting right around 8 minutes, or 6 to 8 minutes, so we'll call it 8 minutes just to be on the conservative side. 
This means on average, you're looking at about 130 of these per hour, 130 heart seekers or whatever the hunt pass progression item is per hour. So that means if you wanted to go from level zero to level 50 without having to do any of the other stuff in the game, like your weekly challenge or picking up the kunai around Ramsgate, you're looking at right about 40 hours to go ahead and complete your hunt pass. But yeah, guys, that is basically it. So once again, this is very much targeted towards newer players or players that are just getting into the game that don't have all the gear unlocked yet, but still want to finish off their hunt pass before the season ends. If this video does help you, if it does get you going on your hunt pass, make sure to leave a like, check out some of the other videos on the channel, and please consider subscribing to stay updated when new content comes out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you at the next video. Peace.